Princess Isla and the Secret Garden of Dreams, in a faraway kingdom nestled between rolling hills and sparkling rivers, there lived a kind and curious princess named Isla. Princess Isla had long golden hair, eyes as bright as the morning sky, and a heart full of adventure. While she loved her royal duties, what Isla loved most was exploring the beautiful land around her castle. Every morning, she would wander through the flower-filled gardens, dreaming of faraway places and magical secrets. One sunny afternoon, while walking near the edge of the royal garden, Isla noticed something she had never seen before, a small, hidden door covered in ivy. Her heart skipped a beat as she knelt down to examine it. What could this be? She whispered to herself, gently brushing away the leaves that hid the door. It was old and made of wood, with intricate carvings of flowers and stars. There was a keyhole, but no key in sight. Isla's curiosity bubbled over. She rushed back to the castle, eager to ask her grandmother, Queen Alera, about the door. Queen Alera was wise and knew the history of the kingdom like no other. Grandmother, Isla asked breathlessly, I found a secret door in the garden. Do you know what it leads to? Queen Alera smiled gently, her eyes twinkling. Ah, the secret garden of dreams. It's a place of great magic, my dear. Long ago, it was said that only a princess with a heart full of kindness and courage could unlock its mysteries. But the key has been lost for many years. Isla's heart raced with excitement. A magical garden? A lost key? It sounded like the adventure she had always dreamed of. Determined to find the key, Isla searched high and low throughout the castle, inside dusty old books, behind velvet curtains, and even in the deepest corners of the royal library. Days turned into weeks, and just when Isla was starting to lose hope, something wonderful happened. One evening, as she was gazing out of her window, the full moon shone brightly over the kingdom, casting a silvery glow on everything below. A soft glimmer caught Isla's eye. There, in the moonlit garden, nestled among the roses, was a tiny golden key sparkling under the moon's light. Isla couldn't believe her luck. She rushed down to the garden, her heart pounding with excitement. She picked up the key, feeling its warmth in her hand, and hurried to the hidden door. With trembling fingers, Isla placed the key in the keyhole and turned it slowly. The door creaked open, revealing a secret pathway lined with shimmering flowers that glowed softly in the moonlight. Isla gasped in awe. She stepped through the doorway, and to her astonishment, she found herself in the secret garden of dreams. The garden was unlike anything she had ever seen. Trees with silver leaves, flowers that whispered secrets, and fountains that sparkled with rainbow-colored water. It was a place of pure magic. In the center of the garden stood a grand tree with golden branches, and beneath it, a small stone bench. Isla approached the tree, her eyes wide with wonder. As she sat down on the bench, the tree's golden branches began to sway gently, and a soft, soothing voice filled the air. Welcome, Princess Isla, the voice said. You have shown great kindness and courage, and the secret garden of dreams is now yours to protect. Isla smiled, her heart full of joy. I promise to care for this garden and its magic, she whispered. From that day on, Isla visited the secret garden of dreams whenever she needed peace, guidance, or simply a place to dream. The garden became her special refuge, a place where she could escape the world and be surrounded by beauty and magic. And though she kept the garden a secret, she knew that one day she would pass on its wonders to a future princess who, like her, had a heart full of kindness and courage.